Hey guys, my name is Winfield and I own Goosetuned. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for purchasing the access port and custom tune for me. I can't wait to get started. So let's take a look at how the access port comes packaged and what we need to do in order to get started. So here we open the box and we get a nice welcome to your Cobb access port. Uh, go to the website there at the bottom to register it and also to download access port manager. Uh, so as we open the access port pouch here, we see the access port um, with a warning label that says to not install the access port over a previous handheld tuner that wasn't installed by an access port. That's very important. Uh, you don't want to do that. Um, so here we have the red sticker that peels off and a clear one underneath it that peels off too. So just make sure you grab both of those and uh, get them both peeled off. That way the screen's clear. Uh, you can just peel the red one if you'd like. Um, keep the clear one on too. Uh, you have uh, your micro USB cable. You also have a couple other things in here. First, you have the stickers, the decals from Cobb. Uh, they give you two of them. You get a black faceplate included, and you also get um, the gray one that comes on the access port. Uh, that's just a preference. They both snap off, so you can snap them both on and off uh, as you, you want pretty easily. So here in this other box, it's accessories. Um, you get the mount first, it's the sticky mount, and here in a second I'll show you how that connects to the hard shell at the back of the access port. Uh, you also get the OBD2 cable, that goes up underneath the dash, and you plug the other end into the access port, so that you'll do that very first once you go out to your truck. So this is the magnetic access port holder. It mounts to the access port, and the access port pretty much just clicks in. Uh, in the other accessories box with the OBD2 cable, you get the sticky device that this access port holder slides into um, and that allows you to mount it to your dash, to your window, wherever you want. Um, that's pretty much it. So those are all the accessories. Uh, we'll just go ahead and pack this back up and move on into getting the access port installed into the truck. This is where a lot of people have issues but it's really, really, really simple. Um, we'll go ahead and step through that and I'll guide you guys uh, the rest of the way. So thanks again for watching. So once you get out to the truck, you're going to plug in the OBD2 cable into the OBD2 slot underneath the footwell on the driver's side. Uh, you're then going to plug that into the access port. Now once you do that, the access port is going to power itself on. You're going to come to the main menu and it's going to give you the installation option. Go ahead and choose that. Here, if you've purchased TCM, which is transmission tuning, it's going to ask you to do ECU or TCM and ECU. You're going to want to select that option. So at this point, you will need to press the on button in the truck, but don't start it. It's going to boot up and it's going to ask you to confirm the year. So go ahead and select continue, the middle button. Here, the truck is going to ask you to select a map. Go ahead and choose the tune file that has your name on it. Once you select the tune file that has your name on it, go ahead and press the big middle button to continue. The truck will then tell you, please make sure that you do not have another tune on the truck from another manufacturer. Also, please make sure that you have a battery charger connected to the vehicle. You always want to select backup factory data in case you need to go back to stock. So at this point, the access port is going to begin to flash the truck. Stick tight. It's going to take a little bit. So here at this point, you're going to want to go ahead and press the middle button since the installation was successful. It's going to ask you to press the key off button so that the car can reset itself for 15 seconds. After that 15 seconds, that's it. Go ahead and go have fun. We're ready to start the logging process. So data logging the truck is really simple. Uh, what I need you to do is log the default parameters already set up on the access port. If you have a 2019 or 2020, Go ahead and add boost to the parameter list. At this time, go out on the road, find a really safe road, very clear, of course, of traffic, and get the truck into fourth gear. 
make sure the truck is in manual mode. Start the data log at 2500 RPM and wait about 10 seconds before you do the pull. At this point, go wide open throttle to 6000 RPM. Once you hit 6000, go ahead and stop logging, repeat the exact same process one more time, then send me the data log using Access Port Manager. Let's head over to see how we're going to use Access Port Manager to both add maps to the Access Port and to pull data log files off of the Access Port to attach to email so that I can view them. So with the access port connected to the computer, go ahead and open up access port manager. The access port manager is then going to display a bunch of files. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change up in the drop down menu from maps to all files. This is going to show us the data log files, it's going to show us the map files, and any other error files that you may have. So here you can see all of the files on the access port. So clearing my screen, what I'm going to do is bring the access port menu back up. And what you do here is you simply drag the files you want off of the access port through Access Port Manager onto the desktop. They're going to appear on the desktop. And actually, any access port file that's accessible here can be dragged onto the desktop and attached via email. So you can really pull any file off, whether it's a tune file, a data log file, really anything that's on the access port. You can also select files on the access port. Uh, in one or twos or threes or everything and then you can delete them on the far right hand side of the screen if you watch here. We're not going to delete these of course because these are files that I need but that's how you do it. So after that you just eject it at the top, uh, take your access port off your desk, take it back out to the truck and flash. So with the OBD2 cable connected to the truck and the other end connected to the access port, we're going to press the on button. We're not going to start the truck, just press the on button. Uh, here our access port is going to power up. If it doesn't, go ahead and hit the power button at the top. Now once the access port is on, we are going to uninstall it. And to do this, you simply, from the main menu, you go down to uninstall. Now it's going to ask you when you do this if you want to uninstall it from the ECU and the TCM. Uh, if you're going back to the dealership or you're selling the truck and want to unmarry the access port, go ahead and select both the ECU and the transmission. So this process here takes a little bit. It's going to take maybe five to ten minutes. So uh, once you press that, then just go ahead and wait. And there you have it. It looks like it's a brand new access port at this point. So you can go ahead and take your vehicle to the dealer or you can reinstall um, whatever you want at this point, but uh, it's pretty much done. So it's here ready for you to install it again when you're ready. So that's all.